So with the last five episodes being all training and this episode being called enhancements, maybe that training is going to get put to work and we can see how far we've enhanced. I'm curious. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Q to the top or season four, episode six. Like I said, this one's called Enhancements. Super excited to find out what happens with this practice match between us and Date Kogio and then to see if we have any more and then where we go on to the spring fight or the national tournament whatever tournament we're going to the, the the one at the tokyo gymnasium that i'm so excited for i'm just ready for that so i actually i'm not gonna waste any more time i say we hop right on in this episode real quick though remember if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows i'm watching black clover jujutsu kaisen and many many more to come check out that patreon down below we are four episodes ahead if you guys want to support me and patreon's not really your thing if you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment it really does help me with the youtube algorithm don't forget to subscribe if you guys currently are not subscribed click that bell so you guys always know exactly when i post and then don't forget to follow me on all my social medias instagram twitch and twitter at dapper darius thank you guys oh so very much uh, Haikyuu to the top, episode 6, Enhancements, let's do it. That's what I would be asking, I'd be so curious. I'd be like, how amazing were they? That's the one thing you notice. Us. <laughs> I'm, I love the little reunion we have with all the boys. Yachi Kyoko. Right? It does feel like we're back at home with all the arguing right back to the way it was. <laughs> Working on using certain amounts of his power so we can direct it specifically where he wants. Oh, sh that's my boy. That was a great jump float. Agreed. We're going on a whole new level of, of competition. Alright, time to see the enhancements made. This man's about to fucking pull an Oikawa spike. Or, I mean, Oikawa serve. <laughs> oh, no, we're seeing... He not does enhancement. <laughs> this is the first time seeing him actually be able to receive and stop a ball. <laughs> I'm just used to it at this point. Did stop that perfectly. Good, good Captain Daichi. <laughs> Just a little. I like that. This is just more springy. The ones are more pressure, you know? That's so funny, but he's not wrong, though. So far, they've been doing the trick. But we gotta change it up. He's seen it himself. That's Kageyama for you. Hey, he's, he's just trying to get you to be like Hoshiyumi, so I get it. He's on a whole nother level. I want I would love to see you like that, too. On the momentum of the lead. Ooh, okay. okay. That was about to be so amazing. <laughs> oh, my God. People aren't used to that. He's actually using his mind and, and studying, focusing, analyzing. Oh, 
So, not even just Asahi, other people are noticing something different about Kageyama. That's still lingering on his mind, huh? What is Ukai's thoughts on that? I like that. You're not scared of the Iron Wall? Hell no. We've already beaten him. Hell yeah. The honor, the respect, everything. Not to mention there's something he wants to test out. Whoa. My boys. Hey, I want to know how Iron faces in the cold. How Iron deals with the, with the shivers. Ooh, Date Kogyo. I am excited to see my boys. <laughs> Just absolute massive brawlic men. No locking on. <laughs> My boy. Suki's just completely ignoring him. I liked her coach too. I remember him. He was a cool dude. Mutual respect every time. Love to see it. Ooh. Yeah, and Kageyama made note of Hinata's observation of that, but I'm wondering what he's thinking of that. Is it like a rivalry? He's determined? I like it. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's what I love to hear. True, get used to these walls. I like it. Be like EYZU. Is this what's gonna happen in the actual games? Oh my god, hold on. I actually wanted to get his name because I don't think I've had it. He's been a major member on Dante Kogio. Uh Futakushi. Yes, he's been here for a long time and he's been a very valid member. Is this how they're gonna do every match? I completely hope so. Obara. Okay. Kogonegawa. Obara. Onagawa? They need to do that for every match in the national tournament. They need every single one. Oh, oh. The wall. They're nasty. They're nasty. Don't let it get to you guys, though. We, this is probably going to happen a lot. I used to love the way they animated Aune doing those blocks where he was like, Phew. you know, I love that shit. That is such a fact that I didn't even think about. I'm really excited about that. Versus someone like Tendo with the guess, guess blocking. One shift, I see. That's why the hands were like layered on top of each other right there. Smart. Utakuchi, Aone, and Kogunagawa are amazing at that. Also makes sense. It's a good counter for it. So there's bun shift and spread shift. Man, I'm learning so much. I would say overall, yeah. But in their situation, going against Date Kogyo, I would say theirs is probably going to be amazing because they've worked on it, you know? Yeah, when they're experienced with doing the bunch. Yeah, no, I could totally see that. Jesus Christ. Jeez, it was like Tetris? Jesus Christ. That was good. That was a good. Nice try. On their part, that was good on us. This is actually going to be an amazing practice match, and I'm all ready for it. Oh, we're down actually crazy yeah, the coach is getting into it I love it Ooh, that intimidation from the wall is looming they're not wrong it can definitely 
mess up a setter. But is he getting into it? Is he liking that? Oh my, they're so nasty at blocking. Kageyama doesn't look disgruntled though. He looks like he's still strategizing. As long as he doesn't lose composure, he'll be good. Right. God damn. So much in the background of these games that you would never know being just your average spectator, you know? He's going against truly amazing volleyball players. This is great. <laughs> See? Oh, I love it. I love all these players, man. They're all amazing in their own right. I love it, too. Not in volleyball, because I've never done that, but I love going against other good people and other good things. It makes me feel like I'm getting better. I love it. I understand where he's coming from completely. Even when everything's looking good. Wow. Eh? <laughs> Relax there. He's going to call Tsukushima out, entice a block, and then immediately go for a feint. But Rolling Thunder's definitely hits it. Rolling Thunder always hits it. That's a straight reference to uh, Komori, how he would immediately move out of the way for the back attack combination. I don't know where that's gonna lead to, but I think Kageyama's actually right in that. Like that, I, 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 I'm interested about that. I can't say if that was a direct reference to Komori from Itachiyama, but I would have to assume so because it's very similar situations. Um, is if he is relating that to that situation, I think he's in the right, saying you got to do a little extra, move out of the way, take that and you know that initial step. But I think he worded it so poorly like he should have said nice receive but this that and the other this that and the other. he literally just said you're in the way so <laughs> huh? like i i completely understand the confusion and i want to know more of what kageyama is talking about but kageyama i don't want to say he's going through the ringer but he's going through something like he is analyzing a lot he's real he's i don't want to say he's getting humbled but he's definitely just thinking a, a lot because he's realizing he's going against amazing players. So obviously they're going to do amazing things and he shouldn't be, he shouldn't lose confidence or lose composure because of that. But he, on, he has to respect and admire that amazing plays and the things that they're able to do. He, he's constantly analyzing his team, Asahi, Hinata, Nishinoya to see where they, I'm not, he is just, he really is crazy. But like, I love that cut of all the amazing players that he's had to give him references over this time. I, I don't know what's gonna happen. I love Date Kogyo, the blocks, how much better they are at blocking, the read blocking, the bunch spread, and instead of the bunch shift, instead of the spread shift or whatever. I love it, Aone, amazing, I love it. Seeing everyone back, Futsukuchi. Uh, he's their captain, right? If I remember correctly, which I really enjoy him as well. He's just always just talking shit. He's just, but in a funny way, you know. I love it. Um, yes, overall, just an amazing episode. I, I kind of am short on time here, guys, so I do have to go. Otherwise, I would try to have a little bit of a longer discussion. Um, thank you guys for watching. Fantastic episode. I am so looking forward to the rest of this and the rest of season four so so much if you guys enjoyed please leave a like let me know your thoughts in those comments below check out that patreon if you guys don't want to wait for the next episodes i upload early but i'll see you guys in this next one thank you so much dapper squad have a great day you guys